All right, today we're going to talk about uh, drop downs in WebDim Pro for ABBA. So I created a little application here, ZWP uh, demo. I'm going to go in to my view, my main view. And I'm going to right click, make sure I'm in test mode. Right click, insert element, and drop down. Now, I have two types of drop downs. One is a drop down by index, and the other is drop down by key. So, what is the difference? Drop down by index is if you're going to um, bind this element to a context table type. Now, a drop down by key, it doesn't have to be a table type, but it um, typically I connect this to a uh, domain and that's what we'll actually show in this in this one so um, do a drop down by key and what we will want to do is bind the selected key but we need to make a new type first before we do that so I'm going to go into SC11 uh, and I'm going to create a domain and we'll just call it ZWP uh, test and we'll create that and we'll call it a data type of characters, number of characters, let's say 20. And here's the trick here. When we go in, it's giving us, making us do a uh, description. We'll call it test drop down. The value range, um, here we can put the fixed values and the short description. So let's say this value is going to be 10. This value is going to be um, 20. This value is going to be 30. This value is going to be 40. We can, you know, write 10 here, 20, all right. A trick people, people often forget is they have to activate it. This type will not be available until you activate it. All right, it's active. So now we can go and create a data type based on this domain. So we're going to copy this. And we're going to create a data type, ZWP test. We'll create that data element. And we're going to say the domain of this type element is ZWP test. I'm renaming them the same thing just so I don't lose it. And we'll call it drop down test type again. So this is also teaching how to create types. So we'll call it um, do the same thing here. This is just the field label. We'll call it, uh, uh, let's call it test number. We'll call a medium is gonna be test number for demo 30. So this is just description, the field label. If you ever wanted to pull it up, people could know, you know what this what these values are for. Test number for WP demo, and I'll reuse that. So as you go down, you have the longer descriptions, right? Field labels. So save that. I'm gonna do this with local objects to make sure I activate this as well. All right, so now the type is, is active. So we go to our context tab here. We're gonna right click context, create an attribute, and we'll just call it drop down. The type is going to be ZWP test. And then the last step is to bind our drop down <clears throat> UI element to that new attribute. Save that. You guys know how to create an application. I don't know how to show you how to do that. Refresh our browser. Drop down. You'll see we have our 10, 20, 30, and 40. Now let's see, we wanted to add 50 as an option. All we could do is go back to our domain, put in 50, save and activate that guy. Go back, refresh our browser, and 50 would be there as well. Cool, just created a drop down. Hi, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, if any of these tutorials have helped you out in one of your projects, please consider a small donation. Until next time, cheers.